Hello everyone, this is Svetlana and Bally Conrad with you, Bally Outlaws. Uh, before we continue, um, let's do our routine. Locate your stomach, belly button, locate your stomach, <laughs> locate your belly button, uh, put the belly button in towards your uh, spine, and if you have a curve in your lower back, by bringing the stomach in towards your lower uh, back, it will actually flatten it. You don't have to stand all the way, turn out 180, just a little bit, and we'll just hold it. Let's see who will hold longer, me or you. Today I actually going to be answering one interesting question. That's actually one of the number one question a lot of you guys been asking that. Uh, it's uh, how should one breathe while being placed? Pushing in the stomach into the back makes breathing impossible. Taking a breath releases the placement. I'm using the raw muscles. I have purchased seven videos, but my confusion remains. Could you bring it up in the podcast? Greetings from Sweden. It's a good question. Okay, greetings from Sweden. Let's answer to Sweden. Um, well, let's put it this way. I'm holding right now my stomach. If you're talking about, you know exactly the points of placements. I'm already doing it right now, and I'm breathing, and I'm talking, and I'm still holding it. So, <clears throat> yes, you, know, you can say that it's a releasing. The releasing, it's mostly when you, you've take the concentration away and yes it will release. So at the beginning we're talking about right now there's a difference this is already some years of practicing the, you know how I hold it and I, it's it doesn't actually stop my breathing at all. Um, <clears throat> at the beginning yes I had the same trouble so when you engage your stomach and you're trying to hold it and any kind of a uh, when you're trying to do any kind of a movement with that, right? So you put in the additional uh, tension or pressure or anything like, you know, when you're trying to engage or something like, oh, you need to squeeze something or doing anything. Yes, it holds the, your breath and you, uh, and you feel like, you know, it's either the stomach will be released or you need to take a breath. For sure, it's, it's you are right, it's all there. Um, <clears throat> it's not necessarily that you are using the wrong muscles, you know, what I would recommend on that because that's exactly what I had the problem with at the beginning. <clears throat> you have to practice it on the floor, that's why there is a floor bar exist uh, that we also have, I'm sure you probably purchased that, uh, if not you can <clears throat> purchase it, it's on the website, um, I can give you the, the picture that you will see, the link to it. Uh, there is a couple classes where it refers to the floor bar, how to do it. Um, there is one, the, the floor is also explained in one, the main course, a six hour one, and there is a floor bar uh, videos by itself too, where I also explain it. Yes, the, <clears throat> the breathing will be hard at the beginning um, for majority of the people because the muscles are not conditioned for that positioning of the, the muscles are not conditioned to sustain the positioning of the muscles. Here it is, there is a tongue twister. Um, <clears throat> um, so what I, what I did, uh, we'll practice a lot on the floor and, um, and if you know the floor exercises there, when any time of the movement would be happening, especially with legs, so when you bring the legs in and you will know exactly what I'm talking about if you watch the, uh, the floor bar, uh, you will know that when you bring the legs in especially, because it's harder to bring the legs in towards yourself than release them, um, <coughs> you, the, the stomach actually will pop, up, pop out. So the whole idea is to hold it the whole time, to sustain it, uh, and yet in the same time to be able to breathe. All right. So yes, it's just pretty much practicing slowly and the mind of a matter, you will actually get to it, you know. And um, yeah, at some point the, the easiest, it's easiest to set them down, but the muscles will get conditioned and they will be able to hold and you will be able to start breathing. So it's not gonna, 
Because yes, at the beginning, as m muscles not conditioned and you, let's just say, weak in your placement, so yes, when you'll start to take any kind of a brain the squeezing or brain the, or any kind of a any kind of a movement starts, yes, it immediately you want to do like this. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be. It's all normal. I am showing that feeling because majority of you will experience that. This is what you all going to do. You know, Misha did that the same thing. My son Misha did the same thing when he was doing the classes at the beginning too. Every time, any time of the, uh, you need to engage something and do something, but keeping the stomach in, right? This is what the first feelings will look like. That's what it's going to be, you know. <sighs> when you're laying on the floor, it's going to be the same thing. When you stand up, it's going to be even more um, obvious thing. So again, you know, the, the only way what I would advise through that is just to do more flow bar, um, you know, work on the stomach there, get the condition the stomach muscles to a point that they can sustain it. Uh, and yes, again, it's, again, it's very easy to explain it's hard to do when you're doing it yourself. Mm, any time when you're trying to do any kind of a movement with the placement, right? What the, the, what the first thing you, you want to do, like, okay, I'm just gonna hold it as much as I can, you know? And, and it feels like every one of us, nobody wants to like fail or anything like that. So we all want to be, I want to do my best, right? And so we immediately, it's a normal reaction. I've done it, I still do it sometimes. Nobody is an exclusion from that. So anytime when you want to do it, you want to perform well, so you would do like the extra, right? So you will like squeeze it <laughs> right away. And then that's how it's gonna be looking and that's how it's gonna sound sometimes. So, the, the one, thing that I found is the best way of doing that is the yes you want to actually you know do best right even for yourself as you're working yourself on the placement but it shouldn't be I want to be a champion right now and I'm gonna go <laughs> full power no it's a slowly so for example here's my relaxed hand right and you go like this slowly engage and put it into the, let's just say, fist, right? So I'm not asking you to do like this. <clears throat> just go like this slowly, engage the muscles, hold it. And then when you go, hold it again slowly, go to the neck. They will release. You can't avoid it. You will release it. But it's a mind of a matter. You will have to work on this. It's like, okay, engagement the whole time. Engagement, keep the stomach in. Keep the stomach, keep the stomach, and it will go, it will. And then the breathing will go with it too. That's why if you really watch all of the classes when Eric explains things, we're doing everything slow. At least at the beginning we're doing slow. That's why when you're working on the placement and when you start to set it up at the beginning, you have to work slow. The, the, and the pace, the slow pace is up to you again. That's why whenever I set it up, the speed meaning like we don't Eric never counts like okay and one two one two one two you know he will give it it's up to you that's why we're given that for that reason so that when you decided on your own uh, when you're doing it so you will decide how you feel when you concentrate on yourself you know when you you know mind is prepared and you're ready to do it and you're concentrating on it okay I'm doing it all right I'm putting my stomach okay I'm laying I'm doing my floor bar. Okay, I know what I'm doing next. Okay, engage it slowly. But take a breath, engage it. Take a breath, engage it. Take a breath, engage it. And you go with your own pace, you know. This is what I have done, and um, that's how it needs to be approached. You know, believe me, all of the time it will work, and you will be able to hold your stomach to the maximum, 
and still breathe like I'm doing. I'm doing the breathing and talking at the same time. And I'm actually holding my stomach the whole time in. So it is possible. It's just mind over matter, you know. So you have to, and it takes time. Yes, it takes time, it takes practice. And I'm sure, you know, we ladies are very good at this. You know, if you give us a, um, some kind of a topic to do, we will do it. We will achieve that, you know. So you can do that, all right? I hope I answered the question. Um, well, if you have more and you still don't, you know, have more questions to me about that. Well, we probably should do Zoom uh, with Sweden, <laughs> okay? So contact me again at balaconrad at gmail.com and I will, you know, gladly will set up the Zoom, set up the class there and we'll do it, okay? Okay, till next time. Bye.